All right, everybody. Today we got a two for Tuesday. This two for Tuesday is an open tag that's brought to us by Mr. Knife Delights. Uh, Tom over there at Knife Delights started this open tag, and I thought I got to jump on here and, and do some more of these. I don't do enough of them because I always pre record my videos. And I've kind of got my set pieces out, but today it was a perfect time for me to hop on this two for Tuesday with him. Um, as you know, I was on this channel chat the other morning, Saturday morning, uh, and Tom has always been nothing but kind to myself and, and also my partner, Boston Blade Reviews. So I want to hop on this open tag and, and kind of talk about these blades. Um, these are some Sodbuster Juniors. They are both carbon steel, but as you know, you see one synthetic, one's the American Workman. Another one is the uh, Amber Seed Jig Bone, I believe. Well, let's look and just make sure. We're, oh, Amber Bone Peach Seed Jig. So that's that one there. And then this one up here is going to be our American Workman. Uh, let's see if we can get her to focus. American Workman Red Synthetic Smooth Sod Buster. All right. We see the numbers there. 4137 CS. So our numbers here 6137 CS. Now these knives are are pretty identical blade wise, but as far as the actual cover material makes them totally different. And we're going to look at that and uh, we're going to see the difference in this right. I mean, look at the covers on this. Look how beautiful that is for one. I mean, boy, boy, it don't get much better than that. Look at the blade centering. Now I looked through, Lee ordered three of these out at the flea market and he gave me first dibs. I bought one for myself and one for Boston. Um, I picked two of the best ones for us too. And then this morning I went back out there and I met uh, James Stork, who is a uh, subscriber of mine and a fan, and he bought the third one. So in all reality, I uh, kind of helped uh, move all three of these for Lee. <laughs> so... He did give me a good deal on them. Um, he had to, he had a price that was right on them. But let's look at the difference in this this cover material right here. If you look, the synthetic is so much thicker than the bone covers. This is going to fit in your pocket so good. But I saw I also carry this blade. I mean, let's look at this and see how much I've used it. This knife right here was gifted to me by Jersey Knife Guy, and this thing's a screamer. I've got this thing tuned up, and it'll race through some paper. But we look at the tang stamp here. You know, you got that, oh, let's see if I can get her to pick up here. You got the CS right there underneath your, your USA 4137 CS. And look at the teeners on that thing, guys. The teeners. With it, we got the case, double X, and then your dots for the year. Let's look on this one here. Case, double X with dots for the years. And then here we got the... The 6137 CS. So guys, I'm going to start carrying this one. I'm going to put a teener on her. And I also have a piece that I carry this in. We'll talk about that in a different video. Um, and I'll show it. I got a slip made by one of the leather smiths that is in the community. And I'm going to show that off by itself. But that's what this has been riding in the past two days. Um, we all know the Sodbuster Jr. is kind of a knife that kind of everyone kind of started out with. Uh, you know, I know myself working in the hay fields and, and um, growing up without a lot of money in West Virginia. I'd mow a big yard, get $25 or whatever I could get out of mowing a couple acre yard, and then take out money to Kmart and get me a pocket knife, or I'd take it to the pool and get me a pool pass. That was uh, basically the, the purchases I'd first make, and then it went to fishing poles and bikes and things like that. But guys, this right here, this is just a beautiful specimen of a blade, and then the one that Jersey gifted, gifted me is just a workhorse specimen of a blade. I mean, this is called the American Workman for a reason. You know, this is something you put in your pocket and put to use, and you can see that I've been doing that. You know, he got these for us to use, and by God, I've been using it. And, and you know, the fit and finish on these are, are pretty perfect. Pretty, pretty perfect. So what I want to do also... Um, you know, everyone knows what the, you know, the, the blade measurements and the size of these, but I'll go ahead and just, we'll pull out a ruler anyway, just to make sure everyone knows what we're talking about. But these blades right here are going to be, what, three and three quarter inches closed with a blade length. We'll do the tang. Blade length of right at 
two and seven eighths inches. Cutting length is going to be two and a half. So the two and a half inch cutting length on these. Also, what I want to do is I want to weigh these and get a weight on them and, and see what the weight is and see the difference in that, okay? So let's get our scale out. Should be on ounces. All right. We'll do the American Workman first. 2.15. We'll do this one here. 1.95. So 2.15. To, well, it was 1.9 ounce, 2.0. So just just a little bit more heft and weight in the American Workman. And that's probably coming from the thicker scales that, that come on that blade. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either one of these. And uh, i just been carrying a lot more traditionals lately. And everyone's been talking about these bone covers and how slim and sleek they are. So I thought, I'll just hop on a train, try one out, see how I like it, and kind of go from there. I mean... Let's look at these bone covers again. Let's see if I can get it to... There we go. The jigging on this is pretty, pretty good, guys. Let's see if I can get her... Stay in focus as we turn. Yeah, this is it. This is my two for Tuesday. These are pretty recent purchases. Uh, this come from Jersey a couple of months ago. This one uh, from the flea market two days ago. So... Thought I'd hop on here again, two for two, started by Mr. Knife Delights, Tom over there. Um, so guys, find you a couple blades, upload a video, and let's see what you got for your two for Tuesday. All right. Hey, like, subscribe, leave a comment. You guys know I, I love talking to you in the chats and everything. And don't forget about Happy Hour Live Chat. Uh, this Saturday, we're going to have Tristan Barnett on there. Great buck collector. Um, does a lot of rehandling, a lot of custom work. Um, and he's got a great collection. So uh, he's one of he's the guy who talked Boston into uh, starting a YouTube channel. So Boston reach out to him and and got him on board. So guys, come on board for that this Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. All right. Hey, stay sharp and stay strong out there.